So what was your very first job? So my first job, I was a sales associate with American Eagle Outfitters. My first job was a sheetrocker. My very first job was with Arthur Young & Company in New York City, a public accounting firm. My very first job, and I was just talking about that today, was making hamburgers. My first job was at concession stands for Little League baseball games. First job was Walmart, Wally World. I was a code three, so those were the buggy pushers. What did that job teach you? Did it teach you any kind of work ethic, responsibility, anything like that? Um, work ethic for sure, time management. Um, just kind of earn some money, you know, start out, be responsible. Yeah. And I like to be able to feel like, you know, I'm part of the workforce. It taught me that one of the most important things was attitude, is to have a good work attitude. You know, the hard work, you know, you get a little bit of reward from doing hard work, so that's basically it. I would say I learned responsibility because it was my first time, and it was first time dealing with money and making food for other people, so I guess responsibility was probably the main thing. It taught me that I don't like to work in heat. Uh, it taught me that I don't like to do manual labor, but Walmart actually taught me how to be disciplined. If you were to guess, just take a wild guess, at how many able-bodied adults received uh, food stamps in the year 2015, what would you say? I'd say 30 million people. I feel like it's lower than people think. I think probably around like, 8%. I don't know, 10, 20 million, if I have to guess. It shouldn't be very many. It should be about 4 million. Maybe 100,000? I'll say about 2 to 3 million. Do, what do you think about that number? Well, it's pretty big. It's kind of sad that there's that many people who, who qualify. 21 million, oh wow. 21 million, oh wow, that's a lot. Oh my God, 21 million, that's crazy. Yeah, you need to get out and work because I'm pretty sure that me as a taxpayer that's working every day and uh, providing for my family, we're paying for that. So if you're able to buy it and you don't have anything going on and you're able to work, you need to get out and work. Do you think that able-bodied adults, in order to receive any kind of welfare or food stamps, do you think that they should be required to work, train, or volunteer for at least 20 hours per week? Yeah. Yeah. That seems reasonable to you? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Absolutely. I think it should be a requirement. Absolutely, because our system today is a disincentive for, for people who are receiving welfare, food stamps, or whatever. I think everybody can have the ability to volunteer at doing something. If it's making phone calls, you know, if it's uh, answering phone calls or delivering food, uh, Mentoring, you know, I think volunteering is very important. Yeah, I would say that's fair. I think if you're going to receive welfare, you should at least try to work. Absolutely. I think that is a minimum requirement. If the government is giving you something for free and you're able body to go out and work like everybody else, there should be some type of stipulations for you to receive those, those government assistance. So, absolutely. Well, it sounds like the consensus is clear. Work is the key to helping individuals regain their independence and dignity. Wow, so that's amazing. You went from making hamburgers to that. To uh, working with mentally ill children and adolescents. So see, you can have a variety of careers. But I wanted to be an astronaut. When I grew up, that's what I wanted to be. And I'm still on the ground. So <laughs> maybe I can ride in that Tesla that's in space. Huh? <laughs>